Hey guys, Terry here. It's a blustery cold day in Ohio. I think it's only 17 degrees out. So it's so pretty here in the forest. But I wanted to show you what I've been working on. I have um, done a t-shirt quilt for a friend of my son's. And um, this was an interesting project because it had um, a scarf, a very big lady's scarf and a lady's hanky handkerchief and then this up here is a sweatshirt so it's just kind of a fuzzy um, sweatshirt material there um, and it's just a cute variety of different shirts from the family I think it's gonna be so cute love this one don't call me grandma call me goddess <laughs> so I don't know the story behind these t-shirts but I think the quilt is going to be such a cute way to remember um, everybody that this is about. This one up here is a man's shirt. I sewed the um, two parts of the shirt together and buttoned it and then um, used the part that had the pocket on it. So I thought that was cute. It's got a little pocket on it. So that one's in the upper right corner and then that's why I did the little hanky down here in this corner. So it turned out really cute. So I've got the batting ready to go. Um, it's going to be a navy blue on the back. So I just need to sandwich those, uh, quilt it, and then put the uh, binding around the edge. So it turned out really cute. And then there's Hershey. Hershey looks so sad. There's Hershey girl. Um, so I got a couple orders um, that came in. This one is um, from a sewing company. And this one is from a stamp company. So let me show you those. So I'll have links on my website to these products and their company websites. But this one is a new uh, sewers club. Uh, my girlfriend Michelle sent me a link to it. And let's see what they have. So made with love pot holders. Cute. And it's got hearts for Valentine's. Pretty fabric. So I think I'll have to decide whether I make the project that they um, have, that they suggest here, or use the fabric for like a quilt or something. Oh, they give you the batting too. How cute. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful. This one's a little bit more modern than I'm used to, but pretty yellow color. Oh, and then that one is gorgeous. So pretty. So I see why they picked that yellow. And then it's got cute little, I think they also always give you some kind of little thing. Those are pins, or um, you use those in place of pins to hold the fabric together. And they even give you some thread. And then some batting. Oh, and because it's pot holders, they even give you the um protected heat pad for inside it how cute is that and then it looks like they give you the step-by-step -step instructions so it says how to cut them and how to put it together how cute is that so i'll have a link to this company sewers club i believe it's out of canada I'm trying to remember where this was out of but it's just a monthly kit. Very cute. Oh, and it's got video instructions um, on their website. So, very cute. Um, oh, it's, those are for holding bobbins. So that goes around the bobbin, so it keeps the thread around the bobbin. Very cute. So I'll have links to that, like I said, on my website. And then I want to show you this stamp set. This stamp company is called Art Impressions, and it's a lot like um, Stamps by Judith. Um, and I'll have a link. I recently saw their uh, this new product on um, Mega Meet had a virtual session. Um, Mega Meet is an expo that usually comes to town, and because of COVID, of course, they can't be out and about. So. 
they've been doing stuff um, virtually and um, these I just love these stamps because you make um, you can make a little project by buying the little stamps and then piecemealing it together so no st no two cards will be alike because you'll use some kind of container and they've got various different buckets and vases and um, pictures like this one and then this one's called foliage and she's got a lot of nice videos where she shows you just how to um, put a little bit of use the markers so I bought a set of the Tombow markers so they're brush you brush these onto the stamps and then put it to the watercolor paper and then um, that'll make the image and then you just take a little paintbrush and add a little bit of water and it just has a wonderful way of looking like watercoloring so that's the foliage this one is um, a flower set so she suggests that you just get a little variety so some kind of container some kind of flowers some kind of little um, now that one she calls foliage so flowers foliage and then this one's branches so look at this set here where you do the branches and she just has a way that she just quickly you know dabs the stamps on there and then you take any kind of little flowers that you have and dab them on in any color of um, you know paint or um, in this case watercolor brushes and then just dab it. She makes it look so easy just dabbing it on. So they're fun to play with. I think it takes practice just like everything else. Um, but like I said, I'll have links to this. And then it looks like she sent a little thank you in there. So look at that little seahorse. So cute. So like I said, I'll have a link to her video and um, how she shows you how to use it. And then links to the products and uh, links to the new Sewers Club website. So. Thanks, guys. See you next time.